Good everybody. I want to, uh, my name is Bob Sullivan. I'm mayor of the city of Brockton. I want to, uh, first of all, welcome. We have a lot of visitors here today. We have a lot, a lot of folks that have traveled the distance, folks from Boston and Worcester and Rhode Island. A lot of people have come here today. It's a historic day, first time ever in the history of Brockton that we will be recognizing and proudly hoisting the Armenian flag for Armenian Independence Day. Today in the city of Brockton, the city of champions, we are proud to celebrate the 31st anniversary of Armenians Independence Day from the Soviet Union. And before we, uh, we get into the official ceremony, I want to uh, recognize some elected officials that are here. Tim Sullivan, our school committee member from uh, Ward 7, thank you so much for being here, Tim. I know uh, District Attorney uh, Tim Cruz, Plymouth County DA Tim Cruz is going to be here. Some of his team is here today, but the DA will be joining us. I know Council President, yeah, give him a round of applause. I know uh, City Council President Jack Lally, unfortunately, he, uh, he just texted me. He's tied up at work, but he wanted to express his uh, heartfelt uh, enjoyment for today. Um, today is a day of celebrating. One thing about Brockton is we're such a diverse community. We're made up of so many different folks from different countries. It's, man, it's really what makes Brockton so special. So today I want to uh, take a moment to recognize all the Armenian residents and business owners here. I want to give a special shout out to John Marion and his brother Paul. You know, John Marion and his brother Paul, uh, you know, they're, they're generational. Alice Razion, um, their, their mom uh, was, was someone that was extremely, extremely special here in the city of Brockton, business owner. It was pretty rare to be a woman business owner back in the day here in Brockton. But in 1951, um, Alice Razion and, and John and Paul's grandmother, Melvina Razion, uh, created this Alice Razion's, uh, which was a, a high-end uh, woman's dress uh, shop here in downtown Brockton. And the tradition has been carried on with Marion Brothers tuxedos. Back in the day, I got my prom, my prom tux there, and John and Paul fit me well, but... No, you were there, you were there, I remember you were there. But I just, uh, I just want to say one thing about the Marians uh, and, and the next generation, their dear children. They don't ever forget about Brockton. You know, they could have packed up shop and moved out of downtown Brockton, and they didn't. And that's what Brocktonians are about, right? We, we continue to thrive, but we're better together. So today's a day that, um, as the mayor and as a guy that grew up here, I just want to say thank you to all the dedicated Armenian folks that call Brockton home that call Brockton their business. I want to thank those that are visiting us today as well. Um, Brockton is a special place, but it's only as special as the people that live and work here. So as mayor, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. The, really, the best is yet to come. But for today's perspective, I'm going to ask John to please come up to the podium. Um, I'm going to do uh, an official mayoral proclamation. Please, John, come up. I want to present this to John Marion. Proclamation in the city of Brockton. Whereas, September 21st, 1991, Armenia declared independence from the Soviet Union. Whereas on, de whereas on December 26th, the same year, 1991, Armenia joined the Commonwealth of Independent States, CIS, and formally gained independence with the dissolution of the USSR. Whereas Armenia's national flag consists of three horizontal bands of equal width, red on top, representing the Armenian highland, and the Armenian people's continued struggle for survival, maintenance of their Christian faith, and Armenians' independence and freedom. Blue, representing the Armenian people's will to live under peaceful skies, and orange, representing the creative talent and hardworking nature of all Armenians. And whereas today, September 21st in the year 2022, Armenian Independence Day recognizes the 31st anniversary of independence of Armenia. And whereas our vibrant, Armenian community has made tremendous, tremendous contributions here in our city of Brockton, in our county, in our commonwealth, and in our nation. Now, therefore, I, Robert F. Sullivan, mayor of the city of Brockton, do proudly proclaim today, September 21st in the year 2022, in our city of champions as Armenian Independence Day. And I respectfully urge all residents in our fine city to please join me in observing this very special day. John, I'm going to give this to you proudly. If you know John, you love John, and he's never uh, shy. So at this time, Mr. John Marion. Well, uh, it's a little emotional.
because uh, uh, being Armenian is a really special thing. So I didn't think that would happen, because uh, I did not think that would happen. But I want to thank Mayor Sullivan. I want to thank him for recognizing what meant so much to our grandparents and our parents. Um, the fact that Armenia became independent in their lifetime. Most of them got to see it. But I want to thank you, Bob, because it is the first time. And I want to thank all the elected officials for coming and recognizing this. Um, As proud American Armenians, the way our parents brought us up, uh, it's been awesome living in the city of Brockton. Um, we have brought our families up here, um, my wife, my four children, and loved ones here, um, one of my children, uh, my brother, my sister-in-law, and their two children. We love Brockton. Um, we love it the way some of you Brocktonians that were here in the Brockton Azad chapter uh, back when uh, you're back here in, in, in the hometown, and you know what I mean. You, your parents, our parents, our grandparents, who taught us so much, made us proud to live in Brockton, to be citizens of the country and the city of Brockton, and to contribute to the well being of our society. This is what they taught us. And, and also, they taught us that it's a great country. And if you work hard, you can make a living. And we teach that to our children. It's great to be here. It's great to be here in the city now as a business person talking to all the cultures and talking about our similarities because I truly believe that Brockton was great and is great and will continue to be great because of the rich cultural diversity. Uh, the Armenians were here back when, we're still here. There's so many cultures, maybe 55, and as I share my experiences with them, it's the same. They're going through the same thing that we went through and our grandparents went through. And they just want a chance. And if they work hard, they'll get it. And we talk about it all the time. I have the, the ability to be able to talk to them through history tours that we do to show them that they can be proud of their own heritage and their city that they live in. It's okay, all of it's good. I remember back three years ago when my wife and my daughter and myself were in Armenia. We were there on this day three years ago celebrating Armenian Independence Day. It was really an emotional experience. And I just watched all those people and they were so happy and they were so celebratory about the fact that their land was free and they were celebrating what we as Armenians in the United States wanted. Our parents through the Armenian Youth Federation taught us that they will someday be a free and independent Armenia. They educated us about the Armenian culture. They encouraged us to be with Armenians. They encouraged us to, to live and, 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 and learn more. And when I was over there, I shared my experiences with them of being an American Armenian and listening to their experiences of being Armenians that live in Yerevan in, in Armenia. And it was truly humbling in the sense that they wanted to hear about us. They wanted to know what it was like to live here. They wanted to know what it was like to be Armenian here. And I told them that we were proud of them. We were proud to be Armenian and we were proud of them. And so proud to be in Armenia to celebrate it with them. And why I get emotional is because it meant a lot to our grandparents because they had to leave their land. Anyways, we get it. Grandma and grandpa, all of our grandmothers and grandfathers, all of our parents, we get it. And thank you so much for being a part of this. And thank you so much for allowing me to, to talk about who and what we are and why we're proud. And thank you for raising the flag.
Oh, and I got the, can we sing the, the, can we sing the sure, sure. Do you want to do it now? I do want to recognize Shirley Azak, uh, city council from Ward 7, former council president. Thank you for being here, Shirley. Tim Cruz, city clerk. Thank you, Tim, for being here as well. Um, I am going to ask uh, John and Paul Marion and anybody else that wants to come over to, uh, to the flag uh, raising ceremony at this time. And John was nice enough, enough, nice enough to, uh, to have the, uh, the national anthem. So let's sing loud and proud. And again, thank you for being here today. <laughs> 